we made a commitment to fix our broken student loan system. Because while college degree still is a ticket to the middle class, that ticket's becoming much too expensive. Right now, the president returns to Madison, what he discussed during his visit, plus reaction from Republicans. Also, the solar eclipse has come and gone. We'll hear from some who observed the rare celestial event and get their take on it. And later, a family fighting for change after losing their son to an asthma attack. Why he didn't have the medication that could have saved his life. Welcome to Do Street Now at 6. We begin with the president's visit to Madison, the second time now in less than a month that the president has traveled to the state of Wisconsin. The president stopped by Madison College Truax campus earlier this afternoon to talk about new plans to cancel student debt. For this plan, he's targeting specific groups like borrowers who have earned so much interest that they now owe more than when they started, as well as borrowers who have been paying back their loans for more than two decades. We plan to cancel debt for borrowers who the Department of Education determines were cheated by universities that left students in unaffordable loans and delivered little in benefits to students. The president says he is also targeting relief to students who enrolled in low-value programs. The president floated the idea of making community college free across the board. Meanwhile, it was a busy day on the Madison College campus with the president's visit. And while some were there to support him, others were protesting his foreign policy. News for now's Catherine Merck joins us live now from campus. And Catherine, what did you hear from students there today? Eric and Charlotte, it was a very busy day on the Madison College campus and a visit from the President of the United States just topped the whole day off. Earlier in the day, students and faculty were gathering outside trying to watch the eclipse while also trying to get a glimpse of the President before he got back in the motorcade. One student told me it was cool to see a smaller school get recognized in this way, while another young woman told me she was thought it was important that he was addressing the issue of student loan debt in his speech. I feel the student loan debt after uh, undergrad and then a PhD. There's a lot of that going around, so yeah. that's important to me. Outside of the area where the president was speaking, dozens of people gathered to protest the president's views on the conflict in Gaza. One woman said she hopes the president acknowledges the voices of the group of people fighting for peace in Madison. What I want Biden to do is to feel the urgency that the majority of Americans want a ceasefire. Um, we want a change and we want him to be a leader for peace. There were protesters there on both sides of the conflict, but most of the group there were waving Palestinian flags. And some roads in the surrounding area near Madison College were closed off for a lot of the afternoon for those trying to get their way to get to watch the eclipse. But now things are opened up behind me and things are good for your evening commute. Reporting live in Madison, I'm Catherine Merck, News 3 Now. All right, Catherine, thank you. Meanwhile, the Republican National Committee responding to the president's visit. RNC Chair Michael Watley releasing the following statement, quote, Biden wants to use your tax dollars to buy votes because more and more young people are supporting President Trump. Here's the truth. Biden's student loan bailout for the wealthy was already struck down by the Supreme Court and his policies are driving historic inflation while crushing industries like manufacturing and agriculture. Wisconsinites can't afford Bidenomics. We need to elect President Trump to get our economy back on track, end quote. Now, for full coverage of the president's visit and the latest up-to-date news, simply download the Channel 3000 app. You can find it for free in your, in your app store. Just search Channel 3000. The spring-like temperatures return. Let's check the first warm forecast now with Chief Meteorologist Alex Harrington. Charlotte, indeed they do, and we've got spring-like temperatures for the next 10 days. I, I'm excited to show all of them. Let's look at them. Nice full screen here. 58 on your Tuesday, but we're going to bounce all the way up to 67 degrees by the time we get to your Wednesday. We cool down just a bit Thursday going on into your Friday, but this upcoming weekend, temperatures are going to be climbing right back up into the 60s, into the 70s, and as we go out into the following week, staying in the 60s. But that doesn't mean it's going to be dry the whole time through the next 10 days. We're going to track some rain chances, too, during this newscast. 61 in Madison, 63 in Middleton, 63 in Stoughton, 62 in Lone Rock, but you'd go a little bit further to the north and towards the west. Viroqua, you're only at 52 degrees where you see the green on this map. That's where they had the clouds today. And the first one weather team, we were saying areas right around Madison and points to the south and east would stand the best chance of the viewing of the eclipse. And that's where the warmer temperatures are because we had sunshine today. The clouds stuck off 
uh, stuck a little bit more towards the north and towards the west. Tonight, low temperatures will dip down into the lower to middle 40s and high temperatures in the upper 50s, right around 60. Again, that's a little bit warmer than where we should be for this time of year. Now there's a nifty thing to show here. Look at how our visible cloud track turns dark. There it goes, two o'clock in the afternoon. That's when the eclipse had its impact on southern Wisconsin. Visible clouds, you see them during the day with this type of a satellite, and they reflect the sun's rays. So when the sun was covered up, you didn't get any reflection, and then you see the dimming. Really nifty that you can see that with our visible cloud track this afternoon. We are tracking rain chances. Rain chance number one here, at least the most prominent rain chance over the next seven days is Thursday. We'll track just when that starts, who gets it, and how much you can expect out of it, and then when thunderstorms are in the forecast. While temperatures may have been average today, conditions in the sky were certainly unusual. Yeah, in case you didn't know, there was a solar eclipse this afternoon. <laughs> we had a pretty good glimpse of it here in Madison. Our Matt, Maddie Heim has more. Library Mall here on campus is quickly filling up with hundreds of students ready to catch the eclipse. So many have gathered, in fact, that the eclipse glasses here on campus are sold out. The glasses reduce light intensity by about 30,000 times, which is required for safe viewing of the celestial event. Back in 2017, I remember my mom taking me out of school. Um, it was a really exciting event, but I still was scared to look up even with the glasses. That 2017 eclipse might not seem too long ago, but students took advantage of today's event knowing how rare the site would be. I heard this is the only one that's going to happen until 2024 or 2044, so... If it's not going to happen for 20 years, everyone's going to want to see it. Today's eclipse peaked here in Madison at 89% totality. Experts say the next time Wisconsinites see that much totality will be in 2099. Special day, I mean, everyone's got to be out here to experience it. I've never seen this many people here in my life. That could be a once-in-a-lifetime type of thing, so... A lot of people skip classes for this. It's exciting. But if you're willing to travel, you can see an eclipse much sooner. All you have to do is follow the path of totality, which outlines the places that the sun will be completely covered. Reporting in Madison, Maddie Heimsch, News 3 Now. Coming up, how several local agencies are getting a boost in funding to help with food insecurity. Plus, volunteers wanted how the city of Madison is planning to give State Street a big makeover this summer. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. Brought to you by Ruber Law Offices. Experience, knowledge, and results. That's what you need when you've been in a serious truck accident. Call Gruber Law Offices. We've successfully helped people injured by big trucks for more than 35 years. Gruber Law Offices. One call, that's all. Habitat homes are not free. They're built and bought by hardworking families just like yours. Families with jobs, dreams, and a strong determination to create a better future. With stable homes, they can invest more in their health, education, community, and beyond. At Blaine's Farm and Fleet, we get you outdoors because we get you. When you're ready to get out and prep your yard for spring, we get you the right products at the right prices. Right now, rewards members get a free $15 gift card with a $100 purchase of Scott's products. Like Scott's Turf Builder Weed and Feed, $64.99 after sale and mail-in rebate. Or Scott's Turf Builder with Halt's Crabgrass Preventer, $69.99 after sale and rebate. We get you outdoors because we get you at Blaine's Farm and Fleet. Why choose between that new deck you've been wanting and that vacation you've been dreaming about? Get both. A deck that outlasts wood three to one and up to a seven-day vacation on one of the top cruise lines or at one of our hundreds of resorts with no blackout date restrictions. Call now or visit the website for your new deck today. Shop family-owned Brothers Main for our large selection, low-price deals, and free delivery on top brands like Cafe, Hot Point, and GE Appliances. From sales to install, we do it all. Feel great about your purchases. Feel like family at Brothers Main. Upgrade your garage, patio, or basement this spring with our beautiful cutting-edge concrete coatings. Our coatings are four times stronger than epoxy and guaranteed to increase your home's value. For a limited time, save up to $500 off your project. Plus, call during this program to see if you qualify for payments starting at just $30 a month. We warn you first. When winter made an April comeback, the First Warn Weather Team kept you on top of the developing winter storm conditions. First with the information you need to be prepared. And stay safe. First Warn Weather. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. 15 local agencies will receive a combined $41,000 in food grants made possible by the Tamara D. Grigsby Office of Equity and Inclusion. The Partners in Equity, or 
PIE program selected agencies based on proposals intended to address issues related to healthy food access, access to land for growing food, or issues related to food waste and recovery. The grants fall in one of two categories, small grants with applicants requesting $2,000 or less, and large grants with applicants requesting between two and $4,000. City of Madison looking for people ready to pick up paintbrushes and paint part of State Street anew. The 400 to 600 blocks of State Street are set to be transformed into a pedestrian mall this summer. City wants to paint murals and other elements on and near the street. Four 20-foot circle murals will be painted between Gorham Street and Hawthorne Court. City also looking for volunteers to help paint more than 150 Madison-themed stencils. So volunteers can sign up for one of two painting shifts on April 21st, 10 to 1 and also noon to 3. Or sign up to volunteer for both shifts if you want. If it rains that day, any backup day would be Sunday, May 5th. Those interested in helping paint State Street are asked to register for free ahead of time to ensure there are enough supplies <clears throat> excuse me, to go around. And still ahead at 6, the Poinet couple working to save lives after the tragic passing of their son. Coming up, how they're trying to make sure no family has to go through what they had to. And warmer weather in the week ahead. Alex returns a complete look at your forecast when we come back. Get solar and get saving with Olsen Solar Energy in the Madison area. When you're talking to someone and you call someone at Olsen Solar, it's not someone in Utah, it's not someone in California, it is someone local right here. By doing that, you know, we control the entire process. So we control the project management, we control the design, we control the installation, the electric, the hookup, permitting, and, and that really sets us apart. Stop into our location near you or give us a call and ask us about our Earth Day promo. What if antibodies from sharks cured cancer? What if breast cancer was prevented with a vaccine? What if new science became clinical trials in real time? At UW Health Carbone Cancer Center, we search the depths of the ocean, the edges of space, turning possibilities into life-saving solutions and what-ifs into remarkable realities. UW Health Carbone Cancer Center. Remarkable. CBS Fiber Internet makes our home smarter. Working, playing, living, learning. It's all better with TDS Fiber Internet because it's faster, more reliable. It's award-winning internet served up by friendly local folks. It's what keeps us connected. And isn't that what it's all about? Say hello to internet that hits different. Say hello to TDS. Imagine trying to take on one of the big car companies. It's not easy. Yet this year, one local law firm finalized the largest compensatory verdict in state history against an automaker, over $38 million. And it was no fluke. That same firm has been holding big car companies accountable for faulty designs that cause injury for over 50 years. Because Wisconsinites know who to call when it's a must-win scenario. They call Habish, Habish & Rotier. National reputation, hometown service. Nobody wants to replace the roof, but these days, many roofs are only lasting 10 to 15 years, costing you tens of thousands of dollars. RoofMax makes your roof like new by strengthening and rejuvenating it. RoofMax treatments started early enough can extend the life of your roof by 15 years or more. And even if you think your roof is at the end of its life, 90% of the time, RoofMax can extend the life of your roof by five years at a fraction of the cost of a new roof. So give us a call and we'll give you a free assessment to see if your roof qualifies. You're watching News 3 Now at 6. After losing their son to a fatal asthma attack in January, one point that couple is working to make sure no family has to suffer like they did. Their son died after his insurance's pharmacy benefit manager upped the price on his asthma medication and he couldn't find an alternative in time. In a story only on News 3 Now, Arman Rahman shows us how they're taking the fight to the legislature to save lives. Eric and Charlotte, it should be simple. Your doctor writes you a prescription, you take it to the pharmacy and pay a copay depending on your health insurance to get the medication. But this mother and father discovered there's many business decisions in between that they say are costing lives like their sons. 
And these are definitely more recent pictures here. Even at 22 years old, Bill and Shannon Schmidtnick described their son Cole as... Kind of just a quirky kid. Who never lost his curiosity. He would text me the most random things. Do you realize how old Pokemon is? They're older than me. But on January 15th, 2024, he was texting his dad saying he had trouble breathing. You could tell he was having an asthma attack. Cole lived with asthma most his life, but this attack became more serious, so his roommate drove him to the emergency room. Later to learn he died in the car on the way there. Um, his friend got him there still very quick and they were able to resuscitate him at the hospital. Cole went into cardiac arrest and he suffered brain damage from the lack of oxygen. His family arrived to find him on life support. There was no hope for any type of recovery. Um, so then we had to start having the worst discussions you could ever imagine as a parent. Cole could always manage his asthma with his rescue inhaler and Advair, a daily steroid which was always around $5. But days before his death, when he tried to refill his Advair prescription at a Walgreens in Appleton, he was told it now cost $539, almost one month's rent. He couldn't get it and left with just that rescue inhaler. That was January 10th and by January 15th, he was texting Bill. Bill and Shannon learned the pharmacy benefit manager, or PBM for Cole's insurance, Optum RX, moved Advair to a different tier in his plan. Bill also has asthma and takes Advair. The same thing happened to him later, but his independent pharmacist in DeForest took time to call Optum RX to make it work. It's all down to the bottom dollar and a lot of stuff, and it's costing lives. It really is. It really is. It's affecting lives and it's costing lives. PBMs are middlemen that started as a way to encourage pharmacies and insurance companies to use cheaper and more efficient generic drugs. And they're famously profitable. I mean, 50 plus percent profit margin is pretty darn good. But according to Dave Kraling from the UW-Madison School of Pharmacy. Well, the pharmacies have been on a a delicate relationship with them, if you will, because over time they've also compressed and compressed and compressed prices so that pharmacies don't have the latitude to maybe provide the kind of care that they always like to do. Kraling says PBMs can change the tiers of drugs based on rebates they get from contracts with drug manufacturers, and it can be hard to tell how much it's regulated. It, it's all been kind of non-transparent. Like Cole, you may only discover the price went up once you're at the pharmacy, and then have to enter into the PBM step process to find a cheaper option that's often a different dosage or medication. What that means is that they may have to try an older or a lower cost alternative before they get access to a higher cost one. I reached out to OptumRx. A spokesperson claims when Cole's Advair was denied, the pharmacy was instructed to contact his prescriber about three other alternatives. OptumRx says they never received any calls from that Walgreens in Appleton. All the barriers that they're putting up just to get a medicine that he's been on for years that helps him breathe. While Cole's parents were angry, they knew he wouldn't let this happen. We are making it our mission to get the PBM reform done with the Cole Schmidtnik PBM reform bill. He was someone that would definitely stand up for for the little guy and stand up for what's right. Bill and Shannon are working with state lawmakers to open a special session in April to hear that bill. They're also launching a patient protection website to collect the hundreds of similar stories they're hearing. Asthma medicine to diabetic medicine to cancer medicine to transplant medicine. I mean, like, it's yeah. everywhere. For the grieving parents, it's a bittersweet battle. Most days, it's a motivator. Other days, um, it's really hard. Other days, I get very angry because no one fought for him. And now it's too late. But just like they were beside their son when he struggled to breathe. Up to his last uh, breath when um, I was held his hand. They know they need to help others keep on living. He would never let this just be okay. And so we can't either. Walgreens wouldn't comment due to patient privacy laws. OptumRx sent me a statement which reads in part, our goal is to ensure medicines, including those used to treat asthma and other critical conditions, are accessible and affordable for Americans. After rigorous review of this case, we determined that formulary management and communications efforts that impacted this patient's access to key asthma medication options were handled consistent with industry practice and the patient's insurance plan design. Any members with questions about their coverage can call the number on their prescription card. Armand, thank you.
We may see a little rain later in the week. Here is Alex with a complete look at the forecast. Hi, Alex. Hey there, Charlotte. Yes, April showers are back in the forecast. A little April shower chance tonight, isolated at best. A mild Tuesday and a very warm Wednesday ahead of that next wet weather system, which we're going to track here tonight. All right, current conditions though right now, 61 degrees. The wind's out there southwest at 3. You can't beat that for April with no wind. Temperatures in the lower 60s. Sunny skies did make it as we were tracking that all week weekend here in the first one weather team. Where were those clouds going to set up and where was the sun going to set up for today's eclipse viewing? 61 in Madison, 65 in Edgerton, 63 in Middleton and another 63 in Mount Torab. I want to call this out very clearly here. If you look off towards the north and towards the west where you see the greens up towards Viroqua, Camp Douglas, Linden Station, up towards the Wisconsin Dells are just north and west of Wisconsin Dells. See where it's green and cooler? That's where the clouds set up today, and that's where we thought the clouds were going to set up today across the area. And look at this. This is the eclipse viewing from Linden Station up towards Juneau County. Notice Sherry Lee sending us that photo, but that photo through filtered clouds to the north and west of Madison in contrast to this more clear picture here of the eclipse. And thank you so much, Sherry and Mike, for sending us these photos. We've got a gallery cooking on Channel 3000 com, which we're going to share on Channel 3000's Facebook page. We appreciate all of those wonderful photos of today's eclipse. All right, that shower chance with our future trek model up towards Linden Station, 46 degrees at 10 o'clock. Madison still hanging on to about 50 at 10. Then maybe a shower down towards Janesville at 1 o'clock in the morning. These chances are not high. Most places will stay dry, just that isolated chance. Starting off at 42 degrees in Madison and then climbing into the upper 50s to the lower 60s. So there we go. What a difference a week makes in our temperatures. The winds will be on the fairly light side, so a nice day. Now, Charlotte said a little more rain in the forecast, and we've got it. That's Thursday, so let's take a look at that together. Just updated, Lone Rock, Wisconsin Dells, just south of Watoma and south and east. Decent chances of showers by that morning rush hour on your Thursday. Coming widespread from the Mississippi River due east across the entire area. This was a this is backed up a little bit to the west, which is good because the drought is pretty significant still over southwestern Wisconsin. And then that ends on your Friday for a slightly cooler day. Here we go. First to show you these totals across the area. Half inch to three quarters of an inch lining up from the Dells down to Lone Rock to Mineral Point east towards Madison. Maybe upwards of an inch, inch and a half if the storm track stays the same over the course of the next couple of days. But look it out towards the Mississippi River. Not a whole lot at all out of this weather system. But we do have more weather systems in the forecast. That shower overnight tonight, mild Tuesday going on into your Wednesday, and a rainy Thursday is expected. The next chance for showers and thunderstorms will be early next week with really warm temperatures. And still to come in sports, the Bucks have lost four straight games. With four games left until the playoffs, how do they get right right now? Giannis shares his feelings next on News 3 Now. News 3 Now First Warm Weather is brought to you by Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Discover a shopping and design experience as comfortable as the furniture. Lazy Boy Home Furnishings and Decor. Schedule your free design consultation today. Saving money with these hot deals at Menards. All prices after 11% rebate. Get to work with these men's performance work gloves. Just $2.49 a pair. Clean up with five packs of paper, lawn, and leaf bags for $1.99. Six packs of flowering annuals are just $1.99. And natural wood mulch is $1.69. These hot deals won't last long. Hurry in before time runs out. Sign up for Menards emails to get more hot deals. Plus the weekly flyer right to your inbox. Save big money at Menards. What's the big deal at Hy-Vee? How about bacon-wrapped sirloins for just $2.99 this Monday through Thursday? Get Hy-Vee Choice Reserve bacon-wrapped sirloin fillets for just $2.99. That's right, get five-ounce bacon-wrapped sirloin fillets for just $2.99. That's a low price on high-end beef. Time to fire up the grill. Get Hy-Vee Choice Reserve bacon-wrapped sirloin fillets for just $2.99. Monday through Thursday, only at Hy-Vee. I worked as a truck driver for 36 years. And then one day I got this letter. Your retirement will be cut. Will be cut in half. You don't forget something like that. Every paycheck we put money away. But because of Wall Street greed, boom, it was gone. 
But Tammy Baldwin saw what they were doing and wrote a bill to save our retirement. Then she fought like hell to pass it. What Tammy Baldwin did for our families, you don't forget something like that. I'm Tammy Baldwin, and I approve this message. At DePaco, your health and happiness are as important to us as your financial well-being. So when retirement is on the horizon, we'll help ensure you're ready for your next adventure, providing you freedom to focus on what truly brings you joy. Well-being is the key to a life worth loving. So when you think about yours, remember that DuPaco can help you be well. What can our foam do for your home? Incredible comfort, no matter what the weather. Incredible savings, because your AC is going to run so much less. It even reduces outside noise and allergens. No matter what kind of cheap insulation you already have, our foam will go right over it. Incredible. And spring is the time for incredible deals. So we're matching the $1,200 tax credit with a $1,200 discount. USA Insulation. When the Bucks were 30 and 13 and Doc Rivers took over as head coach, he said, I wouldn't wish this situation on anyone. And it seemed like a strange thing for a coach inheriting a championship caliber team to say, but honestly, maybe he knew something we didn't. Milwaukee is 15 and 17 under Doc, and they've lost four straight for the first time since winning that championship a few years ago. No matter who you're blaming with four games before the postseason, the Bucks they better figure it out fast. Yeah, not a good feeling. Um... Definitely not a good feeling. Uh, you know, kind of the environment on the team doesn't does feel right. Uh, but at the end of the day, you just got to, you know, uh, stay in it. You know, double down, work harder. Sometimes it, it gets worse before it gets better. And, uh, you know, it, it's not always um, something that you can just change. And the Brewers started an ugly stretch for their schedule, at least today, when they kicked off a four-game series in Cincinnati. 14 of the Brewers' next 17 games are on the road. Their bout with the Reds today marks their first game against an NL Central opponent so far this year. The 6-2 and two Brewers have Aaron Ashby on the mound. And after a brilliant first season under Mike Hastings, Wisconsin men's hockey took a big blow to begin the offseason. Cruz Lucius, whose 13 goals were second most on the team, entered the transfer portal. Rumors are he's going to Arizona State, and this comes on the heels of David Cilia and Matthew D. St. Fowl and goalkeeper Kyle McClellan all foregoing their final season of eligibility to turn pro. And tonight on the women's side, we've got a battle on the ice that you won't want to miss. USA facing off against Canada in the Women's World Championships. And to no surprise, both teams are unbeaten and will both be boasting with Badgers. Six Badgers, current or former, playing for Team USA while five play for Team Canada. And tonight, we've got a big men's basketball title game. 7-4 Zach Eady. Will he meet his match under UConn's Donovan Klingon, or will it be UConn becoming the first to repeat titles since 2007? That's going to be a fun one to watch. All right, Andrew, thank you. Let's go quickly to Alex. Final check of the forecast. Yeah, showers on your Thursday. Then once we get past those showers on your Thursday, got a really nice weekend ahead of us. Mm -hmm. Temperatures in the 60s to the lower 70s. And then an unsettled start to next week. We could be looking at some thunderstorm activity. All right, thanks for joining us. We'll see you back here at 10.